How's it going, guys? This is Forensic Forks with Deontay, and I'm back with another video. This is episode 32 to the Asian Session Library here on Wednesday, the 31st, January 2024, the last Asian Session trade for the month of January. We had another successful model with the pair US dollar versus Japanese yen. Let's walk through it. As always, we're utilizing 12 p.m. to 8 p.m. New York Eastern Standard Time. This time period is a dead zone. Nobody should be trading within this time period because the market is most likely going to go into a phase of consolidation. The market is accumulating buy orders and sell orders. It's creating market sentiment, buy side sentiment and sell side sentiment. We're going to use the buy side liquidity and sell side liquidity within this time period to help us frame a trade idea for the agent session. So let's take a look. So just prior to 8 p.m., we can see we have a swing low here, that's sell side liquidity. We have a swing low here, that's sell side liquidity. We have a swing high here, that's buy side liquidity. We also have a buy up here, buy side liquidity, swing high. I think there's one more. No, it's broken. So we can't we can't take this one here. So you couldn't use this one because it's already broken. So going into 8 p.m. open, we can see where our buy side and sell side liquidity is residing. We're trying to be counterparty to the break. So if it breaks a high, we're going short. If it breaks a low, we're going long. That is a scenario that unfolds in the marketplace, false breaks. And that's all we're aiming to capture, the false break. And the way we do it is like this. So this 8 p.m. opening price, that's fair value, the opening bid of the session. So you're not paying a premium or a discount at this price point. But as soon as price gets above it, you're paying a premium. As soon as price gets below it, you're paying a discount or you're buying a discount. So let's go forward. You see nothing happens. So all this time that's going forward on the 15 minute time frame, we're not fine. We're not trading. We're allowing retail to speculate and guess. We want to wait for a break. Breaks the low. So odds are we can see retail traders probably going to look for or some will look for a break retest and go short. Some of those traders will be right and the market will prevent per will grant that scenario. But we're looking for this scenario that's opposite of this. We're looking for a break and then trying to go long. So let's see what happens on the one minute time frame. Because now at this point, we purge sell side liquidity. We have now buy side above us. Though we do have sell side down here still, that does not mean we have to always go to every single sell side level we have in the New York lunch. The entry can happen after breaking this low here and then go higher. Or the entry doesn't form at all after breaking this low. It breaks this one, then the entry unfolds. We just have to stalk the setup. So we're going down to the one minute time frame that I prefer. And I'm looking for my entry technique of a fair value gap that breaks a swing high. So let's play it forward. So we wouldn't take this one, right? This fair value gap, we would not take. Why would we not take this fair value gap? Because it doesn't break a swing high. We wouldn't take this, even though it's the first one that forms, it can still be a feasible setup, but it's not one I prefer to take. So we wouldn't take that first fair value gap. Even though price may come back into it, we're still not looking at, looking at that as the entry for the model. You can change it to be the entry for your model. I'm just showing you how I like to do it. And there we go. There goes that fair value gap that breaks a swing high and breaks multiple swing highs. So you got here, 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 oops. Another one here too. And swing highs being broken to me is going to represent bullish momentum. Now, in order to get confirmation, we most likely want to see a higher swing low form. Now that we're on the one minute, there may be a lot more fluctuation and a lot more data in order to support that. At times, you will get that clean higher swing low, but sometimes you might draw some drawdown and the price is still looking for more retail traders to go short to find a sponsorship to go long. And the algorithm is not set to fly in that direction you're waiting for. As you can see, that's the fair value gap through multiple swing highs here. Not to say the more swing highs it breaks through, the more feasible the idea is. That could be a filter, but I don't think so. 
and that's not something I take personally into the model. Just once it breaks one swing high is good enough after breaking that 15 minute swing low and also being below the Asian Open. So that's a crucial factor there. The entry technique is happening below 8 p.m.'s opening price. We're in a discount. It's oversold. So we want to buy it. It's cheap. And we play it forward. We set up our parameters. So it would be a 15 pips for 15 pips. And that's my standard day trade stop loss in TP. Very minimalistic, one to one, dollar for a dollar, risking one to 3% per trade. And we'll play it forward. And you can see we obtain 10 pips. So out there, I would take a partial. And as we hold it through, you can see we achieve that 15 pips target. So whether that's 1%, 2%, 3%, or even half a percent, or whatever combination or percentage it is per trade that you've taken, you would have won that here today. Same model, back to back, every single time. It's the same exact entry and the same pair. I don't want to change anything up to confuse traders because a lot of people may look at this and over speculate. But what about this? What about that? What about this? I'm not changing what works for me. That's the whole point of being consistent to a model. If we were to play this out, we can see how it gets back or is trying to draw for buy side liquidity. I'm not sure if it gets there. I wasn't watching and it does. So there we go. So we got more than what we wanted. So just 15 pips turns into more than 15 pips. So hopefully this was insightful. Peace.